No, out of four in a new say, a year seven for December twenty twenty four. I am a woman, and I'm gonna have a battle a year election. Cassia yeah. pa and I'm about to cast your pine as a catua. Now, I'm almost standing a doctor, my woman, Bomia, or no, I stand here, my MPP. And I, a year, John Dramani, Mahama, or no, I stand here, my NDC. If we are near for a year, Mr. Kwame Bidiakum, or no, I stand here, my chada. Anna Alan Kodutraman, you try to tell it a year Alan Cash, or no, so Anna Estande, Eddie Ama, a year Alan for change party. Now, other four in summer, I'm able to a guy any sentinel. A year, your man Penia be the doctor, Mohammed Bomia, Anna, and then we are rejecting a year Napo, any or said Chimes of Bonsu, and as you see, I know a walk of him, I walk of a year, your man pay a year. Honorable, I compare with Kennedy, who is Japan. I want to hear as central person as some nice people join me. Now, other than I am running meet, other four as in where the more rampant ye. The book on your cutie is in the moon chilling. I am in Casa TV. Go subscribe and like and share. My mother and Facebook me other man. So the best man is when you be here. So when you be eighty. During the campaign, I mentioned Asia Miracle. I will use Asia Miracle to change this country. You see, independence. Check the time Korea had independence. Check the time Malaysia had independence, Singapore and Ghana, Nigeria, and position them, and we see where we are. You know, so I think time is not on our side. We got to catch up, and there should be no break. Anybody, the speed at which we have to go to develop, anybody who is not ready to fall in line should be left behind. So that's the only way we can move this country. Now, Korea, they identified some businesses and promoted them. And they are, that is why they are doing well. What they did was that they instilled discipline in those industries. If they give you, for instance, a grant of, say, $10 million for your company, you tell them, in the next six months, I will import these machines into this country and fix them. It's written. Six months, they'll be there to check if indeed you've imported the equipment and installed them. Any excuse, they give you, oh, another three months, I'll be done. When they come and you have not done what you said or agreed with, they take the business from you. It's discipline. Mm. It's not whom you know. Mm. When you go to a Zim Bank and all these, go and check the number of people. I'm not afraid of them. I have to speak the truth because it's Ghana. Go and check those who got the exam bank loans. Go and check. I won't say anything. Go and check. Did they give the loans based on competence or relations? And it's not only exam bank. All other facilities that, you know, they should be able to help industries to sustain. They look at faces and party affiliations. I disagree with that because NDC man can have, you know, ideas, creative mind. And create a business. He will employ Ghanaians. Even if he employs 100%, which is not possible, to employ 100% NDC people in your company, still, they are Ghanaians. If MPP employs 100 MPP people, still, they are Ghanaians. So we need to promote Ghanaian businesses. That's the only way we can develop this country. A country where foreigners have shown us the way, foreign investments have shown us the way that, look, Ghana is not poor. You have Chinese, and politicians are talking, oh, a Chinese man has built 100,000 liters a day, whatever. He's being supported by Chinese government. He has built a steel plant central, he has built a ceramic, and being supported by Chinese government. What is your government doing? What is your government doing? And I can give you a typical example of development bank that you created. They have failed. Failed in the sense that you took a grant to a loan to disperse it at 8%. The 8% could have gone directly to the uh, industries, the managers, the owners of the businesses. Meanwhile, they didn't want responsibility or a burden of chasing people for it. So they didn't want to take risk in short. Now they gave the loans to commercial banks to disperse at 10% interest, which means they have a margin of 2%. Now, the moment the commercial banks take it 10%, they have to ensure that they also get their profit to enable them pay the 10%. So it goes up by 12 or 14. So the gap 
from 8 to 14 is 6%. So how are you going to compete? A Ghanaian company going to compete with an Indian company who takes a loan of 3% or with interest of 3% or 5% and you are taking in dollar term 14%. So right there, a Ghanaian is out. I believe that what any man has done on it, we Ghanaians, we can do it too. Therefore, the story of Singapore, Singapore was part of Malaysia. They cut it off, thinking they were what? Garbage, underdogs, whatever. And they want you to cover with discipline, strong, fixed hands. What has Singapore become? Singapore is better than Malaysia in terms of the economy and the beauty of the countries. The stone that was rejected became the cornerstone of the builder. See how they rejected uh, Singapore and Lee Guan Yu turned it around. Come to Africa. Rwanda came out of war about 12 or something years ago. War. And now Ghanaians, we are not ashamed to refer to Rwanda, Gagami, when they go there. It's all because of discipline. Okay? Strong hearted person who loves his country who is honest, who is patriotic, that will say that this is the way Ghanaians go. Look, I'm telling you, the situation we are in now, Ghanaians don't need change. Change needs Ghanaians. Repeat that, please. So again, Ghanaians don't need change. Ghanaians don't need change. Change needs change Ghanaians. Needs us. It means that we've gone past change. The situation is worse. That the, the, the change itself, now is saying that, please come and let me change you. <laughs> yes. And when you talk to people, they all admit that we need change. Let me give you one example yesterday. My senior brother from my constituency, who was a bishop in the Ghana Armed Forces, came to me, talking to me, take your time, this and that, your time will come. And I told them, Bishop, you know what? You, all of you are part of the problem. I am part of the problem. You are part of the problem. You don't want anybody to crack the rib. Oh, leave it to God. Oh, Nyamiba, yeah. The person has made a mistake. You need to punish him to correct him or to serve as a deterrent. Ghanaians will come and beg. You have a priest coming to beg. You have a chief coming to beg. You have your relatives coming to beg. Did anybody beg Li Wanju? Did anybody beg Kigami that they are doing well? So we are all part of the problem, Bishop. You are coming here. I have to reciprocate action. Whatever happened in parliament, I reciprocated action. And you see, you journalists, some of you are part of the problem. Some journalists in this country are so corrupt that nobody is bold to tell them. You sit here, when you take money, then you say, Sole. Sole has go to the whole world and see if any journalist takes money and says Sole. You will say solidarity. It's bribe. The Sole you take, it depends on the amount of money that I give you that you write a good thing about me. It's wrong. We are all partners. We want to change the system. And you are taking solid to go and do your publication. Then you come back and criticize politicians. That is corrupt. Please, we are all part of the problem. If journalists stop taking bribe as solid, if politicians stop taking bribe, if pastors, whatever, chiefs will stop pleading on behalf of people that have made mistakes, we can move this country. So we need to change the mindset. We need to be patriotic. We need to be honest. We need to be disciplined. And we have to challenge ourselves and say that we are going to make Ghana a better place. Go to British High Commission and see the number of Ghanaians going for visas. Why is it that all these...